Go ahead. Good afternoon. Today is December 30th, 2015. My name is David Carroll with SciTech Process Solutions, and today we have a pump that is a IDI 600, and this was just refurbished by us, and uh, we're going to be doing some dispensing and uh, letting the customer see that this is working. So, without further ado, here we go. Dave, we'll you want to talk about how we did our rebuild? Uh, oh, as far as the rebuild goes, what we did is we fully disassembled this. Uh, first thing we did, we made sure to home the motor and retract the diaphragm that's in there. Uh, that way no air gets trapped up in there when you're uh, trying to prime the pump uh, from that. And uh, we uh, cleaned up the shaft. Uh, it, for the lead screw that is actually doing the pumping action on this pump, we cleaned out the uh, valves were fully disassembled and completely cleaned out, got all the resist out of there. The reservoir was, uh, and pressure sensor, pres pressure sensor was removed from the reservoir and got the resist out of there. Um, and then we were able to go in through the uh, valve ports and clean everything out. It was totally clean. Uh, and free of all resist when we got done. Uh, so then we hooked it back up and uh, powered it and now we're pumping alcohol and water, uh, which is a 50-50 mix of IPA and DI water. Um, and that's what we use for our tests on our test bench. So uh, now we're gonna do some dispenses. Uh, Right now we've got a little bit of air trapped in the line just because of uh, uh, the suck back. We're using a 3 8 inch line rather than the smaller quarter and the viscosity of our fluid is next to none because it's pretty close to water. Um, so it's, it's just drawing in extra air right now. It, it, the suck back is working and um, it will work fine on a system with real resist with a heavy viscosity. So here we go. Um, so the ChemNet software. We have the ChemNet software up right now. Uh, we're in the dispense cycle uh, parameters page, and we have it set up to uh, to pump 15 milliliters, and we have a time of five seconds. So the the rate is about three milliliters per second, and uh, we're refilling a little quicker. Uh, but we're not really putting all 15 milliliters back in. We're only doing 14 and a half for our test. So we're going to send the parameters for the recipe to the pump, and then we're going to test our dispense. And there it goes. It, and let me move the camera so you can see. Oops, yeah, we'll me. have to do another one here. Yeah, what we'll do is I'll have Dave uh, do a few dispenses. Let me zoom in on it, and then you can actually see the dispense. For the tube with the black, Tie wrap is the dispense tube, okay? We'll go ahead and run about three quick tests and that should uh, end this video. Okay, Dave, I think that's good. Okay. All righty, well, that will conclude the uh, testing of the IDI 600 pump. Again, we've gone through a complete refurbishment. We think it's uh, working good. Again, we can only dispense with water and DI. Uh, the customer will have to do a calibration at their site and set it up with their own resist. Uh, we'll put the covers back on this, uh, get it cleaned up. Uh, the customer is in a down situation, which would like it FedEx for the next day, so we'll get it out tonight for them. Uh, if there's any questions, you can feel free to call our sales department at 916-797-9000, and that's for anyone in the sales department. Thank you, and have a great day.